What's the most impactful intervention Dr. David Sinclair, the Harvard anti-aging researcher, does to extend his lifespan? I measure myself in many ways. As he says, it's regularly testing his biomarkers of health and aging. David often stresses how critical it is to test biomarkers, not only to keep disease risk low, but also to see which dietary exercise and lifestyle changes are actually working. I went back another two years in my biological age, just in a couple of months after switching to that diet. Here are the biomarkers of health and aging David Sinclair tests, separated into 11 categories. Stick around till the end to see the two biomarkers that are having the biggest impact on David's longevity. First, Sinclair makes sure his heart is healthy, because heart disease is the number one killer in the world. He tests for five key biomarkers related to his heart health. Apolipoprotein B, a protein that correlates with risk of cardiovascular disease, high density lipoprotein cholesterol, a protein carrier that mops up extra cholesterol, low density lipoprotein cholesterol, a protein carrier linked to cardiovascular disease, triglycerides, a type of fat circulating in the body, and total cholesterol, the representation of the total amount of cholesterol in the blood. Testing cholesterol levels, particularly ApoB, is crucial for maximizing lifespan as elevated levels of ApoB can indicate a higher risk of atherosclerosis and cardiovascular diseases. ApoB is a key component of potentially harmful LDL cholesterol contributing to plaque formation in arteries. David knows that monitoring and managing cholesterol levels can allow early detection of potential heart issues, especially since heart disease runs in his family. For these reasons, he has started taking statin medication early in his life to keep his ApoB levels ideally below 80 mg per deciliter. Don't forget to like and subscribe to see more content on recent advancements in the longevity field. David understands that balanced hormone levels are key to a healthy long life. He tests many hormones, including thyroid stimulating hormone, a hormone which impacts metabolism and energy regulation, calcium, while not a hormone, is an element that is tightly linked to many hormones, including parathyroid and vitamin D3, and cortisol, the notorious stress hormone. When it is chronically elevated, it can contribute to various health issues. To make sure he primes his body for high quality sleep, David regularly checks his magnesium in his blood, which is a mineral that relaxes muscles and nerves and controls the neurotransmitter GABA which has a calming effect on the central nervous system. He also specifically measures the magnesium in his red blood cells, a method that may be better at detecting low magnesium levels. He also checks his vitamin D levels. Vitamin D, among its many roles, helps control our sleep-wake cycle and create the neurotransmitter serotonin that plays a role in mood and sleep. David also makes sure the inflammation in his body is low because he knows how critical low systemic inflammation is to general health and longevity. He tests high sensitivity C-reactive protein, a general marker of inflammation, white blood cell count, including neutrophils, basophils, eosinophils, lymphocytes, and monocytes. These blood cells play important roles in protecting our bodies from bacterial and viral infections. Abnormal levels of these biomarkers can be a sign of chronic and systemic inflammation, which can speed up aging, a term that has been coined inflammaging. One of the strongest correlations with health and lifespan is glucose metabolism. To assess how his body processes and uses carbohydrates, David specifically tests levels of his insulin, a hormone that controls blood glucose levels, glucose, which he often measures with the continuous glucose monitor. This allows him to understand and avoid the foods that can cause abnormally high blood sugar spikes, hemoglobin A1c, which shows the average blood glucose levels for the past two to three months, and alanine aminotransferase, a liver enzyme that helps control blood glucose levels. David makes sure that his blood sugar levels are under control, that he is insulin sensitive, and he aims to have his HbA1c below 5.2%. To check if his body is recovering well, David regularly tests these biomarkers to ensure his liver and kidneys are healthy and functioning well albumin, a serum protein that decreases with aging, 
David aims to keep his albumin levels high because values less than 3.8 grams per deciliter have been linked with increased morbidity, mortality, and disability in the elderly. Aspartate aminotransferase, an enzyme found in the liver, heart, and muscles. Gamma glutamyl transpeptidase, an enzyme found throughout the body and highly in the liver. Cretin kinase, an enzyme found mostly in skeletal muscle, heart, and brain and the minerals potassium and sodium, both of which are essential to proper cell and organ function. David also understands that keeping his brain healthy and sharp is essential to a long life. To make sure his cognition is not declining rapidly, he tests vitamin B12, a vitamin critical for DNA synthesis, amino acid and fatty acid metabolism, creation of RBCs and nerve function, folate or vitamin B9, another vitamin important for DNA synthesis and also cell division. To assess his endurance and cardiorespiratory health, David looks at 13 biomarkers including ferritin, a protein that stores iron, hematocrit, a measure of red blood cells in the blood, hemoglobin, the oxygen-carrying protein in red blood cells, iron, a mineral essential for health, and platelets, blood cells that form clots to stop and prevent bleeding. He also checks several parameters of red blood cell health, as you can see here. To assess his fitness, David looks at testosterone levels, including free testosterone and sex hormone binding globulin, a protein that binds sex hormones, including testosterone. While there's some debate, the majority of longevity experts like David try to maintain testosterone levels within the recommended range, with some suggesting the lower the better. This is because there are several pieces of evidence suggesting high testosterone levels may shorten lifespan. David has sequenced his entire genome to identify his risk for chronic diseases such as cancers, cardiovascular disease, and dementias. Sequencing his genome also enables him to know the likelihood that he'll live beyond the average lifespan. While he can't change his DNA yet, it helps him tailor interventions to address specific deficiencies inherited in his genome. The best biomarkers currently available that predict longevity are arguably methods that determine biological age, which shows how fast one's body is aging. David gets his epigenetic age tested about once a year to get an overall picture of the rate his body is aging. He also uses his blood biomarkers to calculate his biological age, which gives him more insights into how fast his body is aging. His most recent test showed that his biological age is at least 10 years younger than his current chronological age of 54. As you can see, the periodic feedback from these tests is invaluable to providing recurrent guidance for individualized health and life extension strategies for David. Testing for health and aging biomarkers doesn't have to be difficult or expensive, costing at most a few hundred dollars per year. For instance, David uses Inside Tracker which costs him less than $1,000 for comprehensive testing. Cyfox Health, True Diagnostics, and Nebula Genomics offer at-home testing that makes it even more convenient and affordable. If you'd like to see what specific interventions David uses to age slower, check this video out.